Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain arrays in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, everybody, so arrays. Think of an array as a variable, but it can store multiple values, not just one. So I have this string variable named car, and it contains the name of a car, BMW. So what we could do is turn this variable into an array so it can store multiple values. And this is all you have to do. After the data type, add a set of square brackets, and then surround all of the values with a set of curly braces. Boom, you got yourself an array, and that's all there is to it. So you can add multiple values to this array named car. And actually, I'm going to rename this as cars, so it's plural, so that we know that there's multiple values within here. So let's separate each value with a comma. So let's say we have a BMW, a Mustang, as well as a Corvette. Okay, then let's display what cars is with a right line statement. Console the right line cars. So this is what appears. We have the data type of our array instead of the values within the array. So if you need to access an element that is an item from an array, you need to add after the variable name, well, the array name, a set of square brackets, and then the index. So computers, they always start with zero. The first element would be zero. So place that number within the square brackets, cars at index zero, and the first element would be BMW. So let's display the other elements. Let's just copy what we have. Okay, let's display cars at index one. That will be this value because this is index zero. And that is Mustang. Then the next value, cars at index two. And that is Corvette. So let's take a look to see what happens if I attempt to access an element that doesn't exist. So cars at index three. So that would be something beyond Corvette. So we'll actually run into an error. We ran into an index out of range exception. So arrays do have a fixed size. You have to make sure that you're not accessing an element that doesn't exist. Now, if you need to update an element within an array, all you have to do is type the array name. In this case, it would be cars, straight brackets, and list the index. So if I need to change the first element within my array, I will say my array name cars at index zero equals, let's place a Tesla there instead, and then run this. So instead of a BMW in the first position, index zero, we have a Tesla. So if you need to access or update an element within an array, type the array name, straight brackets, and then the index. And remember that these always start with zero. So what we've done here to display the elements of an array is that we wrote a right line statement for each individual element. So a much better approach would be to iterate over our array using a for loop. And later on, I'll explain the for each loop. So to display all of the elements of our array easily, let's create a for loop. So we'll say int i equals zero. We'll continue this as long as i is less than. Now arrays have a length property. So type the name of the array dot length. Then i plus plus to increment our index. Okay, with our right line statement, let's display cars, straight brackets, and the index is going to be i. So i is zero for the first iteration, then during the next iteration, it will be one, then two, and then it will stop because this statement will no longer be true. Okay, let's try this again. So we have Tesla, Mustang, and Corvette. So an easy way to display the elements of an array is to write a for loop and set the index equal to i, whatever you have right here. But we'll have to discuss the for each loop coming up in a later video. One thing that you should know with arrays is that they have a fixed size. If you would like to declare an array and then assign values later, you'll need to declare that array with a fixed size of how many elements you're planning to place within that array. So that would look something like this. Let's turn this line into a comment. And this is how to declare an array. So type the data type, square brackets, the name of the array equals new, the data type again, square brackets, and then within this set of square brackets, 
we will list a size. So if I plan on adding no more than three elements to this array, I can place three here. But you can make this a larger size to accommodate more values. And if you don't use those values, they'll just remain empty, no big deal. And this will work the same as before. And then we'll just have to update some values. So cars at index zero, one, and two. Zero is a Tesla, one is a Mustang, and two is a Corvette. And this will pretty much work the same as before. Instead of just in one step declaring and assigning an array, we have done it in two steps. We declared the array and then assigned some values later. Well, okay then everybody, that is an array. It's a variable that can store multiple values and they have a fixed size, so that's something you need to pay attention to. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, those are arrays in C-sharp.